Zimbabwe investigative journalist Hopeful Chinono has received the International Anti-Corruption Excellence Award in Doha, Qatar. Hopeful has been consistent in exposing acts of corruption in Zimbabwe. The award was handed over by Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Now, for more, we are now joined by Hopeful Chinono from Doha. Hopeful, thank you so much uh, for your time uh, this afternoon. I want to ask you about the soccer, but also congratulations. Let's talk about the importance of this award and what it means to you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. This is a very important award because it acknowledges what we've been saying all along, that many of our problems in Zimbabwe are down to the looting of public funds and the abuse of natural resources from Zimbabwe, contrary to the uh, line that has been taken by the ruling party that it was sanctions. Most of our hospitals today could be up and running, but they are not simply because basic things like paracetamol, basic things like uh, um, a heart uh, bypass machines, uh, like uh, radiotherapy cancer machines are not there in the hospitals. And these are things that can easily be bought by the government, but it chooses to buy land cruisers. Uh, a lot of money is looted through a uh, tender system. And each time I've been trying to highlight these things, I've been uh, thrown into prison. And uh, most of the times I've been accused that I'm a Western puppet. So it is very interesting because this award is not from the West, but it's from the East, where our government said it was now looking. Ah, exactly. Uh, now, you've been a, uh, you know, constituted in exposing corruption. You know, are you seeing uh, any changes uh, currently in, in terms of that? I mean, of course, it's not going to take uh, one man. It's not going to take several uh, of you, but it will take, of course, uh, a, a, a nation uh, to see the changes. But, but what are your concerns currently in some of the things that you have exposed and, and where uh, there's still so much change that is needed? Um, corrupt politicians are very powerful. That's why I've been thrown into prison three times inside six months for not having done anything else other than th that just expose corruption. So it takes time to get these things and it needs not only one voice, but we need many voices. The opposition needs to up its game to make sure that each time they're in parliament, they are raising these issues because parliament is the theater where these political issues are discussed. And it's also important for regional countries, particularly South Africa, to stop supporting uh, corruption in Zimbabwe. President Ramaphosa has made a career of going around the world uh, saying that the problems that are bedeviling Zimbabwe are caused by sanctions, and yet they are caused by uh, the looting of public funds. The biggest hospital in Zimbabwe, uh, uh, Salem Gabo Hospital, only has one maternity theater that is working, which was built in 1977 by the colonial government. To build a maternity theater, it takes um, uh, 37,000 US dollars, less than uh, 500,000 runs. Um, and yet our government buys land cruisers. One land cruiser can build 11 uh, maternity theaters. Uh, so it's important for regional leaders, especially uh, President uh, Ramaphosa, to stop going around the world and, and selling a lie that these things are caused by sanctions. And uh, it's also important for the government of Zimbabwe to realize that having a health nation, fixing hospitals, uh, enhances the quality of life. Right now, we are having uh, power cuts um, and Zimbabweans are getting electricity for only about four to six hours. And it makes it difficult for the country to attract investment. And yet the government has seen it fit to give uh, ministers and me members of parliament uh, a total of 34 million US dollars, a one-off payment, like a, a, a thank you payment. And yet these are the same people who have authored the economic tragedy that is taking place in Zimbabwe. So it's important for the government of Zimbabwe to realize that they must invest money where it's needed. We need electricity, we need hospitals that work, uh, we need clean drinking water. I haven't had water at my house in Arare, uh, clean drinking water since 2007. I've had to drill a borehole but not everyone can drill a ball. Um, and, and in some of the most affluent areas, not just townships, there's no clean drinking water. So all these things are caused by corruption. And that's why this award is very important because it acknowledges that.
Well, we know corruption is a big challenge, you know, around the world. But looking specifically into Africa, I mean, we've seen activists like yourself, uh, whistleblowers, their lives constantly under threat. You know, how important then is it for government to ensure that, you know, these people are protected, uh, particularly at a time when it is for the betterment of the country? Uh, and then, uh, you know, secondly to that, you know, how afraid are you uh, for your life in continuing this work? Uh, you know, unlike South Africa, the constitution in Zimbabwe is constantly violated by the very government itself. Uh, the judiciary service uh, is, is captured. Um, you know, I, I shouldn't have gone to jail if we had a professional judiciary. But each time I, I've been arrested, I've been thrown into prison um, using uh, trumped up charges. So it's very difficult uh, to do this kind of work when you have a judiciary that is politically captured and when you have a police service that is not professional. Uh, it's also important uh, for the region to make sure that they put pressure on the Zimbabwean leadership uh, so that it follows the constitution. Our problems are not complicated. Uh, we don't need reforms that need to come from elsewhere. Our reforms are located in our national constitution, the very national constitution that uh, the government violates. So indeed, to answer your question, it, it can be very scary and lonely when you're fighting uh, uh, corruption because, as I said, corrupt people are powerful and they fight back. So uh, you never know when they will decide to fight you physically instead of using uh, captured institutions as, as they've been doing in the past. All right, Hopeful, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And once again, congratulations. That was Hopeful Chinono. He's just received an award, the International Anti-Corruption Excellence Award in Doha, Qatar.